Oh, hello everybody. It's me again, and we're playing more Dragon Age. Uh, last time we played this, which was actually a few weeks ago, because I've been slacking off. Uh, last time we played this, we managed to free Connor from the demon, which was after we uh, liberated the, the mage tower. And now we need to go and find it, the sacred ashes to get. The fuck is it again? Is it all Eamon? Need to get all Eamon healed. Personally, I want to hold off on that just for a bit. Because there's a. annoying boss fight you need to go through if you go with that path. So I think we're gonna do a bit of DLC in order to try and get some levels up and get some better gear lord knows we need some better gear yeah hang on we are going to head back to camp and then we're going to evaluate our options because we could do this which is the return to Elstigar. But I want to hold off on that just for a bit. Don't think I'm quite ready for that just yet. Now that we're oh, back hello. at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. Yeah, it turned out quite well, right? I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Isles family and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It, well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something, no matter how small. I owe the Isle that much. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta stop the blight. You're right. Hopefully, by that time, there's still enough of Ferelden left to save. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh, wait, it's not Tuesday, is it? You can do that every day, buddy. Don't worry about that. Let's talk to Wynn. Oh, it's been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. You alright? Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. Yeah, you kind of old, I bet. Thank you. You're very kind to say so. But you gotta be honest, nice to her, though. Good I guy, Topsy, and all. Many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time, but there is always something else to do, and I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. No, oh, don't put it like that. Oh, I don't know. I really don't. Only one? Come on now. Could many abominations apart from the ones in the Circle Tower? Ah, yes, Connor. Of course. The first time I saw an abomination, my blood turned to ice. It was months before the nightmare stopped. It was the knowledge that I could easily become one of them that frightened me the most. See. One there you go. All it takes is one slip, and everything you are is simply gone. Replaced by madness. And there is no turning back, or at least that's what they say. Of late, I have begun to wonder if... if there is any way an abomination can be... cured. Or if a mage could be so possessed and still retain their sanity. Didn't we hear Connor? Humanity. Was he not an abomination, or am I just stupid? Yes. It is madness and cruelty that define abominations. If those are lacking, if the mage remembers the person they truly are, then they are not an abomination. I never saw that. Thank you for showing me another way of looking at it. By the way, I forgot to mention it. Look at this shit right now. <laughs> it is 1220... 
So, tell we'll be doing quite a recording for a while. It's gonna be really late when I wake up. I'm gonna I'm done with this. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask what you did? I do, but I'll tell you anyways. <laughs> I'm speechless. It never ceases to amaze me whenever I hear of such despicable... Not who's act mine or the, or the other guys. <laughs> Regardless of what happened in your past, I am glad you found a place with the Wardens, as I'm sure you are too. That's a bit of a stretch. I haven't really met any other wardens except for Duncan and Alistair. <coughs> oh, God bless me. Every fucking time. I'm always sneezing. Sometimes it gives me comfort to think that. Oh my God, I am so sorry about that. You, that it will be all right. You were chosen. You survived the joint. I'll try to mute that out later when I'm editing. Perhaps it was meant to be. I must ask, what does being a... No, you can't ask me all this all in one go. I have to keep talking to you. Oh, my God. There's that, of course. But there's more to being a Grey Warden than killing Darkspawn and saving the world from the Oh, please, enlighten me. Being a Grey Warden is about serving others. About serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. As a Grey Warden, you are a guardian of men. And you guard them because their continued existence is more important than you are. Uh, it is you who serves. But some, of, some of them suck. A good king. A true I'm not a king. Don't go there. Cares for his land. Uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. He serves his people first and foremost. The king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. Oh, yeah. So uh, if you guys hear any background noise, I apologize. I'll try to uh, kind of like cut it out if I have to. It's finally starting to get real cold out and it gets real hot when I'm recording. So I have the windows open and try and balance things out. But if anything does slip through the cracks, I do apologize. If you live apart from others, and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. But if you have power, influence, and strength, your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. Think of how far they will go. How wide they will become. How will they affect the pond? But I've let yeah, can we not have the, the fortune cookie talk right now, please? I wear out my welcome. Is there something you need? Uh-huh. The circle is in good hands. Irving knows what to do, and he doesn't need me underfoot. For now, I will support those that battle the Darkspawn. I do feel I left things unfinished in Ostagar. How did you get out of Ostagar? How'd that happen? I would be part of it. The Grey Wardens, all two of them. Yes, thank you for reminding me. Help you can get. I will see this through to the bitter end, and after that, if I am still left standing, then I will return to the circle. No, of course I don't. I'm old and unsure of what I'm doing. Actually, I'd rather be in a warm chair in the sun, being served pudding, or some other easily digestible. Okay, Win. I know. I was just teasing. The ability to laugh at myself is something I developed too late in life. But to allay your fears, yes, I am sure this is what I want. Yes, give me the approval. All of it. I will answer to the best of my ability. All the approval. 
People don't become mages. They are born mages. The talent just surfaces later. But you are asking how I ended up at the Circle. I was brought there by the Templars, just like many of the other apprentices. I don't remember very much. I was very young then. I set a boy on oh, Okay. I didn't have a family. I never knew my real parents. My earliest memory was of hiding in a hayloft on a farm, trying to keep warm. I was found, and the farmer's wife was kind enough not to send me away. But they had children of their own, and I was never made to feel welcome. The eldest son was the worst. He was always calling me a stray, and throwing anything he could get his hands on at me. And I don't know how it happened, but one day, he just found his hair on fire. Fortunately, there was a large trough nearby. Is that how you spell it? Oh, Jesus. I had singed his hair and eyebrows, but injured little other than his pride. Who knows what they would have done to me had he been more seriously hurt. Thankfully, all I had to endure was a few nights locked in a cold barn with a bowl of water and a crust of bread. The Templars arrived several mornings later. Yeah, that's kind of rough. The barn kept me safe from the village children and the stones they would hurl at me. I was afraid, yes, but it could have been much worse. I'll never forget the moment the Templars led me into the entrance hall of the tower. I had never seen anything so grand in my life. I stopped being afraid then. I knew I was home. I'm sure many would disagree, but you were a child, so... Well, that's about all there is to my tale. That's how I came to the circle. Uh, what was life like there? I would be lying if I said it was easy. First, there were rules, and we were constantly watched to make sure we behaved appropriately. Then there was the study of magic. We had to cast the spells just so, control the effects completely. A single word spoken incorrectly, a gesture out of sync, and lack of focus. And we needed to have perfect focus, or we would be in danger. Yeah, at least you learned. Without the circle and my mentors, I would not have been where I am today. And there was joy in life at the circle. The joys of fellowship in knowing that you were not alone in your struggles. Perhaps it was like your life in the alienage. The people outside may have shunned you, but you didn't care because you were surrounded by your kind, your family. We are not so different, you and I. I guess that's it right there, huh? Anything new? Is there something you need? Nope. It is no trouble. Oh, fuck that. No, hell no. Not yet. We are not ready for that. What do you want? Enchantment? Yeah, let me, let me see the shit. Hang on. I think we're good on this for now. You would have the rest of the armor, wouldn't you? God damn it. And you don't sell any elf root. That kills me, man. It really does. Uh, what does... Does the wind want... She wants the Amulet of Memories, right? I think that's what she likes. <laughs> Keyword being sync. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. Uh, let's head back to the tower, because we left a mission over there unfinished. Yes. Yes. Indeed. 
to the tower. Please don't let us get caught by something. Well, damn. Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? A nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sire. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn suit. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for the now. We need help, that one's a bit bitter. We deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Okay, that was a nice cut. Oh, hang on. More of this shit. Okay. This is the fight against Devron. I remember it well. Oh, thank the Maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. Didn't even wait for a fucking response. Jesus. <laughs> Conniving bitch. It feels a bit unnecessary. I saw most of these guys on the way over here. Oh, they have a, she's a mage. Oh, shit. She dies first. <laughs> Ah, we try and salvage this as fast as we can. Oh, come on, don't kill me like this. <laughs> this is how you do it. No, no, I'm gonna take you out, buddy. Hopefully, no one else goes down, because that'd be pretty inconvenient. Oh, yeah, we are sweeping this. Alistair. Come on, buddy, try harder. Can't you see the traps? That Liliana? The fuck? Okay. See, the open assassin is wounded and unconscious, but alive. You could tie him up and talk to him if you wished. Yep. He's not tied up. I. Oh. Oh. I rather thought I would wake up dead. How do you wake up dead? But I see you haven't killed me yet. Yeah, we're gonna talk a bit. Ah, so I am to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zebran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. Oh, being rather candid, aren't you? <laughs> So would I be in your shoes. For me, however, it sets a rather poor precedent, doesn't it? Getting captured by a target seems a tad detrimental to one's budding assassin career. Yeah, yeah. sucks to suck, huh? Yes, it's true. 
too bad for me. Yeah, what are what are the crows? The of assassins, of course, out of Antiba. I suppose you wouldn't hear much of them out here, but where I come from, we're rather infamous. <laughs> oh, fine. Is that what you Fereldens do? Mock your prisoners? <laughs> Such cruelty. Yeah, you came all the way down here? Not precisely. I was in the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. And who hired you? Really Even though I already know. A turn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. Yeah, he's an assassin, I, I don't no think so. What his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. Oh, well, that's between Logan and the crows, and between the crows and myself. Isn't that what we're establishing now? Fair point. I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the crows would have informed your Logan of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the crows are concerned. No need to see Logan, then. What can I say, huh? I am an eternal optimist. You have a Although the unique of succeeding accent. At this point seem a bit slim, don't they? <laughs> No, I don't suppose you'd find that funny, would you? Yeah, he, well, I don't think he was paid. The crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Which does make me about as poor as a chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antivan crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. Well, aside from a distinct lack of ambition, I suppose it's because I wasn't given much of a choice. The crows bought me young. I was a bargain, too, or so I'm led to believe. But don't let my sad story influence you. The crows aren't so bad. They keep one well supplied. Wine, women, men, whatever you happen to fancy. Though the whole severance package is garbage, let me tell you. If you're considering joining, I'd really think twice about it. They have a severance package in medieval fantasy? Okay. You seem like a bright lad. I'm sure you have other options. Yeah, why are you telling me all this? Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. Yeah, 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 talk. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause. So, let me serve you instead. I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing, that's not a fault, really, is it? It's I mean, more like unless you're the sort who would do the same self-serving kind of stuff. In which case, I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. Yeah, be, yeah. To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. Uh, <laughs> you think I'd be mad? Possibly. I happen to know their wily ways, however. I can protect myself as well as you. Not that you seem to need much help. And if not, well, it's not as if I had many alternatives to start with, is it? Yeah, how much does it cost me? Let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice, and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then. I'm yours. 
Is that fair? Yeah, welcome aboard, what? buddy. You're taking the assassin with us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? Hmm. All right. All right. Yeah, quit your bitching. Still, if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. A fine plan. But I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on, were I you. That's excellent advice for anyone. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. I'm not quite sure how well I trust your... your word, buddy, but... Oh, no, my team's fine as it is. And now I loot. I don't care if they disapprove. I can fix that later with gifts. I don't want that. I want shit that's useful to me. Like money. Money is very useful. So how have you guys been? I know for you guys it probably hasn't been too much between this video and the last one, but for me it's been well over a week since I last recorded, mostly because I've just been I've just been so busy with work. <laughs> Haven't really just had time to sit down and do some recording. Shit, even right now I need to work tomorrow, but Thankfully, it's an evening shift, so I can excuse being up late. Come on, guys. You still haven't cleaned up all the bodies? You've had plenty of time. It cannot be. This must be a... I guess some of the... Can I? Hang on a sec. See, uh, Circle of Magi. Oh. Oh, fuck that, then. Never mind. We shall worry about that another day. When I have the time and the patience and the party members to go and find this mass shit. Okay, world map. Back to camp. Back to camp so we can do people's favorite activity. Talking to people. Here I am. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Well, the crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training. The sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is a desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. Yeah. I don't know about that. It's simply a slightly different skill set from your average killer, as I see it. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. I wish you could make the dog be more quiet. <laughs> Getting paid for the act is beside the point. An assassin is more a tactical choice than a lifestyle. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? No, keep talking, yeah, yeah. keep talking. Oh, I certainly could, but I won't. Okay. I swore to the crows that the things they taught me were to remain a secret. And while, yes, they are already angry at me, I'd rather not push things, you see. If you are 